Do you want to go on a little trip? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Do you want to go now? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Birds, yes, birds. There might be some birds on our trip as well. And do you mm. know what else there's going to be? Mm. Cows. And horses. Mm. Yeah, nay. Good? Can we yeah. go swimming? Yeah. And what do you do if you're late at swimming? Kick. Yeah, kick, kick, kick. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Life has been weird recently. We're going to explain a bit more what's going on for us at the moment. We'll actually be directly with George. George has had something happen recently that hasn't been too fun, and we need a little break. We need a little trip away to just be with our little family, the three of us. Everything's all good now, so there's nothing to worry about, but it's just not been a particularly great time for George. But yeah, I'll let him explain it all to you guys in a bit, but basically we're just gonna jump in the car now. We've packed up everything, again, off on another adventure. It's only about an hour away from where we live, actually, so it's super close. Bye-bye, yeah, say bye-bye house. Um, and it's only a couple of nights. It's just somewhere really lovely in the countryside. Lots of animals with a swimming pool, around nature, countryside walks, all that good stuff. And I think we're gonna do some barbecuing as well, so. Super excited, um, sorry, just putting you down. Super excited to be heading off again. Um, but yeah, let's get in the car and head over. Okay, it is just about still the morning. A beautiful day. Weather check up above me, blue skies. I don't know why that when the sun's out like the trees look greener the sky's blue the everything just looks nicer we have just come to a farm shop we've just been to the place we're staying which looks absolutely stunning by the way we will show you we will give you a little tour this is like after like the philippines trip and france lately which we actually didn't vlog i feel like we're really going around different places at the moment and this for us is what being in england is all about so in the countryside going to farm shops driving the range rover through muddy puddles and stuff like that so we're going to pick up some provisions they've been kind enough to give us in the room where we're staying some steaks some pork chops and some stuff for a barbecue we're gonna have like an outdoor barbecue this afternoon and tonight i think i think we're gonna double up just cook all day but for now come to this nice little farm shop gonna pick up some stuff that we need big or small all right. Got the goods, everything we need. We got some pasta, some cheese, some hummus, some blueberries, onions, a lot of random stuff. I know, actually. we've got to make this into meals and I don't think we really thought it through. We've yeah. looked around and found things we fancied. Um, but anyway, we are in a place we're actually in Guildford, which isn't very far from where we live at all. And we're staying at a place called Gate Street. And yeah, they very kindly invited us to stay. It's, it's a wedding venue, but they also have on-site accommodation. So we'll show you around in a second when we get there. And then George is going to give you his update as well. Maybe you can find some time when we get back once we've sort of bought all the bags in and you can have a chat with the guys. Do that when we get back because firstly, well, I can eat again. I actually couldn't eat for about two weeks. I'll explain everything, but we're going to get this barbecue on. Yes, the horses. I mean, sheep. <laughs> That's not a horse. Oh no, it's a llama. An alpaca. Bought the big car for this trip. Yeah. Got all our stuff. Put that in the front seat, I might maybe. Put it on the front seat. Yeah. I feel like it's such a wholesome uh, little trip. Yeah, Farm really shop. Nice. Reminds me of the one when we were still pregnant. Yeah. We went away this is like, like this. coming into summer in the UK. This is what we love to do. We're gonna go for some walks. We're gonna cook outside. It's what it's all about, man. It's what it's all about. If you're from the UK, which loads of you are watching this, then you probably have experienced this yourself. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you're like us and you don't actually appreciate your own country and surroundings, and you don't actually explore your own home country because we've definitely been guilty of that in the past. As you know, we love travel so much. But yeah, if you can get around and explore somewhere close to you, but new to you, then that's amazing, that's awesome. I've just looked over and Lucy and Koda are with some llamas or alpacas. Are they llamas? I've just left everything <laughs> with the car because I just wanted to run over and see this because I never, you never see these day to day, these animals. What do you think those are? He's trying to feed them, he's going. Are you feeding them? Wow. 
Hello, chaps. What do you think? That's a funny horse, isn't it? Ma? Ma? You want to feed it? Yeah. Come on then, give it some food. Ah. You want to climb into the field? <laughs> My feet are actually burning on this slightly. Cody's having a great time in the garden, playing with Daddy's shoe and some of his toys. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, <laughs> and this is the life of a toddler. The barbecue's here and I've had to strategically place the entire patio furniture around it so that he doesn't go anywhere near the flames. Uh, so, <laughs> kind of ruined the vibe a little bit. It's all good, it's all part of it. Yes. We have fire. Lucy and Coda are out there getting some, getting the fire going, getting some meat on the grill. I want to quickly talk about the title of today's video and something I've personally been going through over the last three weeks now. And it's a bit weird for me to talk about because on this channel, on the vlog, we tend to keep it kind of, it is personal because it's our lives, but it's also travel, cool places we're going to, fun times we're having, nice little trips away like this, nice food we're eating. All the kind of good bits, I guess, go into the vlog. So it's a little bit strange for me to talk about this, but I do want to share it for a few reasons. Number one is that we do vlog and we document our lives. We have done for six or seven years now, and it's just a moment that I'm going to look back on purely for memory's sake and just, oh yeah, that happened. And hopefully, thankfully in the future go, wow, I'd forgotten about that. That's not even an issue anymore. So basically a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago, I had to have a small operation. So, so a little bit of surgery and I've been struggling with it ever since. The other reason I wanna share it is because two more reasons. One, I don't want you to think that we have this perfect life and that social media, social media can sometimes be purely a highlight reel. And I don't ever want anyone watching to feel bad that their life is different to what they watch online or something like that, or I don't know, I just think with social media, vlogs, YouTube, Instagram, bear in mind that people have chosen what to put out there. People have chosen what to not put out there. So yeah, num reason number two, just wanna keep it real for a second. Reason number three, could help someone. Maybe someone's going through a similar thing. Maybe you're watching this and you're like, wow, I so relate to this, thanks for sharing it. Whenever we do kind of tap into a little bit more personal stuff or any struggles, there's the opportunity to help someone else. So that's the main reason for sharing this today, but we will soon get back to it because I'm very hungry. So we're gonna get back out there. But yeah, basically I've had part of my tongue removed. Now it sounds a bit weird, sounds a bit scary. Um, it was basically something on the underneath of my tongue that for two or three years kept swelling up, disappearing, swelling up, disappearing. I've had it looked at by several different dentists, a few different specialists, a few different doctors. I've had it removed twice before, came back every time. Um, so this time they removed it surgically, removed a large section of the underneath of my tongue. The fourth reason I want to share this is because you might have noticed that my voice has been a bit different in the last few videos. So if anyone's squeamish, by the way, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm not going to show it on the screen. So there's none of that coming because it's a little bit gruesome, but yeah, it's been the after part of it. Actually running up to the day of the little operation at hospital, I was feeling super positive, I was actually excited. Really looking forward to getting this thing that had been bothering me for three years, or I think two years. Hopefully getting it removed and getting on with my life because it's been, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on camera before. Maybe I have, I can't remember, but it's been bothering me on and off for years. So the procedure went okay, I think. 
they said it could still come back. I have to sign a thing to say it could still come back, but we'll give it a go. Um, my whole mouth was numb. My whole tongue was numb. My tongue went up to about that big. It was about three times the size. That went down after a couple of days a little bit, but since then it's still swollen. I've had to been on like strong painkillers since. The worst bit is that I haven't been able to go to the gym. And by the way, another disclaimer, this is just like a personal thing I'm going through that I'm deciding to share. I'm not saying it's worse than anything anyone else has gone through. I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world because I know there are way worse things, people with terrible illnesses and things wrong with them that obviously are worse. So purely just disclaimer, because I know what the internet is like. This is just me sharing an experience on my own channel. <sighs> I didn't even, do you know what? I'm struggling because I didn't even know if I wanted to bring this out and talk about it because it's been like a bit of a mental battle, to be honest. So yeah, the after part of the operation, I haven't been able to go to the gym because anytime I lift anything heavy, I haven't even been able to lift Coda up. Lucy's been having to do everything. Um, it's a bit, bit better in the last three or four days. I've started lifting him again and stuff. Because you don't realize, but every time you strain or lift something, um, you use muscles in your tongue. I never knew that. But every time I did it, I'd get the shooting pain and it would feel like the wound, because I had stitches, it, would feel like it was like opening up every time I did something that involved any lifting. So I haven't now been in the gym for, uh, uh, I think a month, which really affects me mentally more than anything. And with the pain every day and being on painkillers constantly, I don't know, it's just affected me. Everything, the whole combination of it and the fact that it's still there, even if it's way worse than before I had the operation basically right now. So that's what's getting to me. I've been like quite grouchy. I've been quite down. I've been not wanting to, pick up a camera and do like my work and stuff because I can't talk and my voice is annoying me. When I do talk, it hurts more. If I have a day when I'm like out with people and I get home in the evening, it hurts way more because I've been using my tongue all day talking. And it's just gone for like a month now. So I am an optimistic person. If you watch this channel, you know I'm a positive person and I'm feeling good about the long-term healing of it, really hoping it goes away. At this point, I kind of regret getting it done because I'd got to a point where it was kind of manageable, it would come and go. But I think long-term I won't regret it, hopefully. So if anyone out there is going through anything, anything at all, way worse than what I've just said, it could be something that you think sounds smaller than I've just said, but it doesn't matter. Everyone's feelings are valid and whatever you are going through, just try to take the positive stance because you have a choice like, Sometimes it seems like you don't have a choice, but if you can try and find some optimism in the situation. But yeah, just wanted to put that out there. We're gonna get back to the vlog now. Regular programming commences, looking forward to lunch, looking forward to this beautiful place that we're staying in. And you know what, things like this, vlogging today, um, staying here, coming here, keeping busy, working and stuff has been distracting me from it. So I wanna thank you guys, because this is an outlet that's been helping me. Um, and if you weren't here, we probably wouldn't be making these videos. So thanks to you guys too. But yes, on with the rest of the vlog. Excuse the noise, I think they might be doing some gardening. This is the lamb, and actually all this meat is from the farm, so it's super, like, like as local as you can get. And then the pork chops. It looks amazing. Let's take a bite. That's incredible. Wow, it's so soft. Mm. So much flavor, they actually seasoned it all for us already, look. All these bits were with the lamb. Oh, that is incredible. How we, happy. We need to get in there. How happy does it make you to mm. be cooking and eating outdoors? So happy. Yeah, I need to Tasting get in some there. bread with garlic. Oh, 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 well. Garlic bread. Amazing. Guys, this meat. I've no idea what Lucy's done to this. Some of the best meat I've ever eaten. Mmm. So, so, so good. So good. It's one thing I'm really grateful for, being able to eat again, because for the first few weeks, 
I really couldn't take a single bite of food without being in severe pain with the stitches in my tongue, but oh, this is just amazing. And the pork here is just, <clears throat> don't know if you can see it, but it's just beautiful. Yep, he's coming, you can hear him. <laughs> Pick you up. Okay, it's about time we do a quick tour. I know it's normally at the beginning of a stay. We'll show you guys it. Do you wanna go on the grass? But we've enjoyed it too much and then realized that we haven't filmed it yet. But we've just been enjoying it. So we thought it's about the time we show you around. We're about to go swimming, hence the lack of clothing. Uh, and it's so warm. It's actually really hot today. Like it feels like the middle of summer, but I mean, George has stood there in a hoodie. I don't know how you're not boiling. Mommy. Where are we? Yeah. He's excited to say, where wow, are we? Wow. Wow, chatterbox. Daddy. Daddy. So as you can see, we've already made ourselves at home. There's currently a tent that needs putting up so that Coda can enjoy the garden a little bit. And we've got these amazing views of the um, fields. I guess we can walk there at some point uh, during our stay. But it's a nice big garden. We've had to corner off the barbecue as it's cooling down with all the chairs, but it's a nice like patio area where you can eat. Um, are you okay? Toes. Toes, yeah. Toes. Yeah, toes. Um, so let's head inside. Cody, can you come in with me? Can you come here? Okay, <laughs> right. Let's get in and close the door. So as you come in, straight away in front of you is one of the bedrooms. Um, it's so lovely. Really tall ceilings and this like massive bed. The theming is like really countryside-y and it just feels really lovely across all the rooms. So that's the one of the bedrooms. There's two bedrooms in here. This is like the main living area. So you've got a little bench. We've got all of our glamorous stuff set up. We've been doing some editing on the table and using that. But I just love this table and this beautiful vase with some flowers. They've left some sparkling wine out for us and some honey which looks amazing. It's Gate Street Honey, which is going to be enjoyed tomorrow morning, I think, with some crumpets for breakfast. And there's also a little map here to give you guys an idea of the property. We are staying in the stable flat, which is just here. And there's a ton of different buildings. And there's like a walk and animals and stuff, and we're going to really explore a bit later on. Uh, there's a fire, there's a sofa, there's even like games and um, like kids books and stuff, which I think is a really nice touch. You don't often get that. A TV on the wall just here. And then it goes into like a fully functional kitchen. Like it's, it's really nice. It reminds me of the kitchen we had in our old flat with the navy cupboards. And it looks a lot like my sister Kelly's kitchen actually as well. Do you want to see it on the side? Um, but you've got like a coffee machine, you've got a microwave, you've got oven hob, a whole sink, a dishwasher, literally, um, literally everything that you'd want. And a full fridge as well, which we filled. Um, and then behind George, if you just turn around, I was going to ask you to do it, okay? So it's a bathroom, so toilet, sink, and a massive like walk-in shower that looks lovely. So I'm very much looking forward to taking a shower later. And then through here, is the final bedroom and there's a little cloak room what would you call it is it a boot room boot mm. boot room and then yeah another bedroom in here which is where Cody's going to be staying he's got his cot set up in here <laughs> not this massive <laughs> not bed. this massive bed unless he wants to do you want to sit in here Cody's Maybe. gonna sleep here <laughs> whoa oh he matches the <laughs> <laughs> what you... where have you gone <laughs> God, where have you gone <laughs> like a dinosaur wow. you're feeding yourself Are you ready to go swimming? Oh. He's hyper. He's so hyper. What are you going to do with your legs? You can do with your legs at swimming. <laughs> what are you going to do with your legs? <laughs> kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. Yeah, and oh, this one. Roll, 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 little water. Babies, <laughs> roll, roll, little water. Baby does this. It's part of his swimming lessons. <laughs> roll, roll, little water. Babies roaring like a tiger. And on Thanks. that note, I need to, I'm not going to wear this hoodie in the pool. I'm going to get my speedos on, wow. my wife runs. And jump in. We're not sure if it's heated. It's beautiful, but we're not sure if it's heated. So test, obviously I'm letting Lucy go in first. I'm not sure if it's heated. Coda it's never seems warm. to mind any temperature of a pool. It's He's enjoying it. It's getting colder as I go lower. Yeah. In you get. Cold? It's a bit cold. <laughs> By the way, whilst they're adjusting to the temperature, just have a quick 
look around here with me. This is like the dream. This is the dream. Beautiful garden, unbelievably stunning house with this whole outdoor area. And just imagine having like friends and family over for a swim, for a barbecue. One day, yeah. our next, we're gonna probably have like three or four houses before we get to this level. But something to think about for the future, definitely. <laughs> Lucy and I love the countryside <laughs> in England. Is it cold? He keeps trying to jump in. Go! Just let him go for it. Let him go for it. He doesn't swim yet, George. Yeah, but he might you. swim if he has to. Oh. There he goes. Look, he's swimming. Kick, kick, kick. He's hot. For this one. Okay, feed it. Give it to the pig. You want to have it for yourself? <laughs> Look, they all want it. Okay, hold this one. Whoa! Hey. Really made me jump. Mm, this will be hot. Right. Nice. Lucy has made a delicious looking dinner. We've got some sparkling wine, courtesy of the guys who are hosting us here. So thank you to you if you're watching. It's very, very kind and unexpected. Really, really nice wine. This is the pasta Lucy's made. I haven't tried it yet, but I just know from Lucy's cooking, it's gonna be good, guys. And this is our setting, outdoor dining again, at its finest after our swim. You enjoying the pasta, Coda? Is it good? He's loving it. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Happy 30th birthday to me. <laughs> we did enough celebrating for your birthday. This is not a birthday. This is actually my early birthday present for November. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. back from the shop talking a little bit quietly because Coda is now in bed. I had to go and pick up some painkillers. Now you guys know why. Um, I also got these, which I've never seen before. Salted caramel M&Ms. Comment below if you've tried these because we have not. So I thought as we're away, a nice little treat. Got some milk for Coda and for tomorrow, because I think we're going to do another barbecue. And the only thing missing at that barbecue earlier was an ice cold beer. So <laughs> got a couple of punk IPAs. So Coda's in bed. We're going to shortly head to bed. I mean, it's still light outside and it's still only 7 p.m. But I think we're going to take the opportunity that he's gone down to sleep in a new place and get some sleep ourselves. So thanks for watching. We'll come back soon. We're actually filming tomorrow. So come back in a couple of days on the channel. You can see part two of our little stay here. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.